I want you guys to know how, how happy I am that we can continue this. Um, our relationship will not change at all. Like, I, I'm me. You guys know that. And um, the biggest thing I want you to know, all of you, is that I firmly believe that a, uh, players don't need a coach at all. Like, you throw sticks, a ball out there, just like we toss the football around, you'll figure out how to, you'll have fun playing the game. I, I, a coach needs the players. Like, we don't, like, you guys don't need, need a coach. The biggest thing I want to continue on here, and I think I've always been consistent with each of you individually, I just want you to work on getting better every day. Control what you can control. I've been doing it a long time, and now they have a name for it. They call it transformational coaching, is what they call it. Back when I was learning it from the guys I learned it from, it was just being a people guy. You know, just like, hockey is hockey, life is life. Um, if you're doing everything the right way, you know, honoring yourself, honoring the game, your family, your classes, um, everything's going to fall in place for you. There's no need to come in and, and try to reinvent anything. I believe in what we did. That's why I, that's why I enjoyed it so much here. I believe in, in the positive approach, you know, focusing on what we want to do, not what we don't want to do, showing the good things that we do and, uh, and things that need to be addressed doing it one-on-one -on -one in the back rooms. I'm going to tell, I'll, I'll tell our staff, we'll be judged, I'll be judged and, and we'll be judged on wins and losses. That's what people do. That's what we're in it for, I guess. You guys will not be judged. The staff and myself, I hold myself accountable for making you, helping you be the best people that you can because with that you'll become the best athletes, the best parents. That's what my goal is. Did I tell you this already? When, I, when she called me, that's what I was going to tell you. She says to me, uh, Dr. Sandra said to me, she said, we have to work on your appearance. <laughs> she said that. She said, and, and I, it's Saturday. I'm recruiting on the road. She said, I want you to get a suit. I want you to get it tailored. So who's, this, who's the, is this all right? <laughs> like, like I told her, I said, I thought I was pretty snappy. <laughs> she said, well, we'd like to bring your wardrobe into the 20th century. And I got thinking into it. She's right. I don't think I bought a new suit since the turn of the century. I wear the same, same stuff. So um, I, hope this, I hope this looks okay because I wouldn't have picked it out. But I said to the guy, he opened up the store for me yesterday. I said, I need something. And he put this stuff together. And, and uh, he said, that'll work. Trust me. Shoes? Because to be honest with you, I can't. I got no fashion. So if, uh, I might have to ask, who's the, who's, the, who's the guy in here? Do we have a guy in here? Who is it? Who's the fashion guy? Jacko? <laughs> From the cities? Okay, you'll be my guy, Jacko. All right, I'd probably come out before games with like four or five ties and you say. All right? Okay, anything, guys? Okay, I love you guys. And I'm, I'm, I'm uh, I hope there wasn't, uh, when you got the call or got notified it was me, I hope there wasn't too much of, I hope there was some excitement because I know I had it. All right? Okay, boys, let's have fun. Sure.